Okay, I'll reload it. Big Dappuccino here. Uh, Captain Bonehead strikes again. So I should be Commander Procrastination now. I was supposed to do this video yesterday after I got off work, probably in the evening. Had it uploaded. Supposed to have it uploaded at least by 8 o'clock last night. I don't know. I probably just didn't feel like doing videos after work. Sometimes you deal with the public be like that. Uh, I got a whole lot I need to do backed up. I owe y'all. Well, I got to do a show and tell video tomorrow morning. Try to get that out there. Kind of exciting one. Might have some stuff that some people already got, but that's the way it is. Some people ahead, some people behind, going to what area you got. Some people, of course, have more disposable income than others so i'm just lucky to have a little bit had to scale back this week had to fight the temptation to go out there on the pegs today because one of the examples is right here on the turntable i got a stencil gift box from rudy moons and i see that i did one video on it just showing what was in the box but I see when I do that unwrapping box, that's going to be another two-parter. Just like the first gift box he gave me. But this is Odds and Ends number 48. And we're going to show the, some mainline and premium uh, die-cast castings that are in show and tell 126. On display right now is the 1955 uh, Chevy Stepside Truck from uh, Wellies, that was part of that Rudy Moon's gift box. Encourage you to go watch that video. Some very interesting brands from across the pond. Rudy Moon's is from Belgium. And this is a Wellies, like I said before. Because they got like a series called Super 7. No, Super 9. And this is a 55 Bel Air. Let's see, he put the little, I don't know if that's a sticker or a logo, but the BDP, you can see up there, Big Dappuccino. It has weather details on it. So I didn't really, I seen it afterwards, and I just had to keep moving through the video. Probably spending too much time on it right now, but it's pretty cool, because I was thinking about a shop truck. Of course, I'm a Chevy fan. I like these old trucks like this. Even though the one from Sanford and Son was a, a Ford, it was pretty much a 50s too. It's got kind of similar look. This is just a, a real cool, like, and I, I am from Virginia, so, I mean, not Southern, but not as Southern as most states. But, um, yeah, man, this is some cool stuff. Appreciate Rudy Moons. It's pretty cool. So you'll be seeing this truck more, this truck in the future. I wish I could, um, I knew how to do some detailing and stuff. Get some, uh, logos put on the side here. It's an auto, like an auto something, auto service or probably some town in my background connected. Probably be, probably either Dansville where my grandfather's from or either um, Newport News where I spent a lot of time or, or Portsmouth where I was born. I could say Alexandria too, where I live right now. But let's get into it. Let's get into these main lines first. I guess we should do the Toyota. It's from Show and Tell, number 126. We have a lot of Matchbox in there. And you've probably seen this on a lot of people's channel. I think there's a variation with the headlights up. 
and I probably it was probably over there at the shopping center I want to get to right there where the where the Dollar Tree is even though my Dollar Tree is hit or miss sometimes with die cast either that or five below which they're hit and miss too you like action figures you probably have more luck at the um five below this 1984 toyota mr2 tail lights look real good wheels and has a sunroof this is not accurate they didn't have panels like that, but it looks cool. Looks like some aftermarket stuff. Pretty much, they did a good job, man. I need to do some research, like I said, to say who who at Matchbox this year is doing these castings. Some of these castings looking awesome. It's about time, man. Cause I had some cool casting from Matchbox. I think I have a SL fifty five. Probably like over 10 years old. Probably, yeah. And that thing looks, it could be premium. It looks that great. Next, we got the Mazda Miata. I was going to compare it to another Miata. But the premium one I had from Johnny Lightning is more up to date, I think. So, I probably could have did it. It don't look too similar. I think this is more up to date. Probably like a 2018 or something. And again, this is very well done. Extremely well done. For 99 cents. Even though in some places... Hot Wheels can be a dollar and fifty, I think. I even heard of Hot Wheels even being two dollars in some places, depending on where you are. But I think a dollar and fifty. I think that's at Harris Teeter. They're a dollar and fifty. But at Target, they're ninety nine cents. I think for the main line, ninety nine cents or a dollar. Matchbox and Hot Wheels. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Pretty much all the mods they got going for it. I think they got some SUVs, but they need to hurry up and get in the game, man. Toyota got the Supra back. Nissan got the uh, Fair Lady coming, and they. They just on the sideline. Um, 2008. Well, they tried to push the the um, Monster Speed 3 series. 2008 Honda V E U T E uh, or U, and I think it's a S S V, which I don't know if that's super, super sport or what. I don't, I still got to do some research. And I made a mistake. And I think show and tell number 126. And I said, this is UTE, Ute, Honda, well, holding Ute. Seven anniversary is 7D. They just don't have to, oh, they try to get fancy, huh? Yeah, they had been around, I think, before GM. But GM been around for a while. So I don't know if they were separate or they always utilized GM parts. But it's a GM subsidiary kind of, sort of. But I could swear, I don't know if it's two years ago or a couple years ago, I swear they had stopped production. So maybe they just... I don't know. Maybe they, they're back in production. I don't know. Who knows? Do some research. 
So maybe they're not doing worldwide distribution. Maybe they're just selling the cars in Australia and Great Britain. That's pretty cool for what it is. I like the way the tailgate is black. And the wheels and everything, the trim look good on this. Like I said, I need to do some research on who's who's designing stuff with Matchbox because they're knocking it out. Got headlights, taillights, everything. Right now, I hate to say it, but it's new. Matt, Hot Wheels got some stuff they're doing, like high level stuff, like um, Lamborghinis and stuff like that. But when it goes through the first run, that first year, after a while, you notice that the headlights and the tail light details start disappearing. Usually, with these castings and Matchbox, they stay the way they are, they just don't come out all the time. You might get them every year. They just don't do a lot of color variations. Like Hot Wheels, you may get um, maybe three color variations of the same model in the same year. At least two. You might get three. But um, Hot Matchbox, you get one color variation per year. Unless it's a special series they're doing. And this is the 2017 Honda Civic hatchback. I have several of these. This is from the Honda series. <clears throat> Similar to the Type R cast. I was going to throw the Type R out there, but nah. This is own thing. I think the Type R's lights, front lights are, are a little longer too. Uh, it's more exaggerated and the tail likes, but it's the same basic body shape. That's an awesome casting, man. Only for a probably for a car a mistake is that wouldn't be colored like that. It would be actually plastic or well it would be glass in real life right there. But I guess that's part of the casting. So we got that done. Headlights, tail lights, whatever. Um, let's move on to the premium. First, we're gonna start with the with the Hot Wheels two pack, the twin set, which you've seen on everybody's uh channel. Who does think dot who? Excuse me, who? Posts diecast content. This is probably a hot item. This whole series, you know, excuse me, a lot of people, they they more so want them Nissans, which I I know that they did at that uh, HKS livery before. I don't know if the wheels are the same. Red, eh? It kind of blends. I would have rather wanted a silver or white for that other skyline. The more stock looking one. And the same thing, even though I like that silver Mercedes 280, I wasn't able to find the other set that that came in. I think it was a Boulevard series or something. Um, The black one too was very rare. That's one of them cars they were selling like a couple of years ago, probably up to now, you could you could only find that thing a limited run. And um people was trying to sell that bad boy for like twenty five to thirty dollars a pop. Because they were hoarding them. So I think they done released it a couple of times now. And this is the set I got with the eighty three silver Chevy Silverado and the 91 GMC Cyclone. One time, flatbed trucks was hot. Hot Wheels, everybody's doing them. M2, Auto World, Green Light. Yeah. Green Light, yeah. 
Oh, well, everybody's doing on the domestic side. I think I got a fly in here. It just come by. So it's a pretty cool with the boiler livery. I think I have a GMC Cyclone Premium from the uh, Boulevard series, I think. But this is, I think I got that same casting. I know I do. And, uh, and Mainline, the 83 Chevy Silverado. Well, I got flatbed trucks everywhere. I got a couple of Auto World, a couple of, um, one or two Auto World, and uh, a green light. So next, let's, yeah, so they're real detailed. You can see them. I ain't going to talk too much about them. Well executed. Even though I don't really like the stance on this, but in real life, this would be on airbags, so it wouldn't be always be like this. This is when it parks, and the suspension would go down, and that's how the stance would be. But it's pretty cool. They did a good job. Could have used some white leather tires, but oh well. Next, we're going to do the Auto World. Let's do... First, we're going to do the 2018 uh, Dodge. 2018 Dodge Challenger uh, SRT Demon. And I don't know if people are doing these series, though. The, the from this same series, the '63 Nova 400 wagon, it's right there. Mm. I don't have that kind of like El Dorado. Yeah, I showed you release one. I want more suburban from at least one right there. You about to see the Camaro from the same series. I was hoping to find my Hellcat, but I looked through my bins and I don't, I can't find my Hellcat. So I'm like, where is my Hellcat? So I don't know if I done messed up and put it with the main lines because I did a showcase. That's the last time I seen it. That's been some months back, a whole lot of months back. Probably close to maybe six months. So, gotta look through my uh, bands now to see if I can find it because I don't see it with the premium stuff. Oh. But this is a cool cast, and the, the, the uh, hood doesn't open on this, which some people like, some people don't like. I would like to see the engine detail, the black wheels. The color combination sells this. Of course, the details is there. The headlights, tail lights, the wheels, everything looks realistic. Interior is black, so. Less is more, more or less. I don't think those are lens, those are painted. I think headlights and tail lights. I think so. Yeah. So they they of course were gonna get through on this. They even showed the uh the brake, the actual brake uh pads and calibers through the wheels, which that's rarely done by some die cast companies. You have to be really skilled to pull that off. And they pulled it off. No, it's nothing back here. It looked like something was back here. I saw some Brake pads and calories. 
But they left the wheels open, so. I think it's something back there. It looks sweet, though. <clears throat> so next, we're going to do the Camaro. And of course, Camaro. Auto World, Martin Muscle, Camaro 2019, Chevy Camaro ZL1 at 1 LE. I think this thing can't either came through from under the door where somebody left the main door open. That's the only thing about living in a building in which you have to share common space with people, even if it's a hallway. I haven't been out all day. Yeah, this is a big dog for a Camaro. I didn't even say what the color was the other one. Of course, it's yellow. I think it's called. It's called Bombi or something like that. But this color is more, kind of more point. It's, it's just satin, steel gray. Everybody does it. It's not kind of unique to Chevrolet or GM. And this is supposed to be the top dog, I think, for the Camaro. The ZL1 is the end-all, be-all for the stock. I think for a factory Camaro that you can order. Other than that, you can go to, I think, Callaway. Is Callaway still with them? Callaway or even Ligon Felter. Aftermarket tuners, and they'll really hook the bad boy up. <clears throat> So it was cool to have the uh, SRT Demon. Well, the red, I think. It's kind of over the Demon, I think. I'm not sure. I think so. The red eye is the, the top dog for uh, the Dodge Challenger series. And it's well executed. You know, I don't like these lights. Cause you look like they didn't do nothing, but the lights are silk or like slits. But I don't see any detail there, which is strange for Auto World. Maybe it's just me, or I can see where the lights are lighter because this is gray and the light uh, lights are kind of like close to silver. And that's the real lights for that. The wheels, I guess, are pretty cool. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I do not like the the direction the Camaro and the Corvette is going design-wise. Both looking pretty much the same. But I know they're doing it for aerodynamics and pretty much computer-generated aesthetics. But it's, it's just looking very, I don't know, clinical. That's, that's pretty cool. Painted details again. So, Auto World. That, that's a no brainer. It's basically a higher level jet, Johnny Lightning. You know, even though they on the, they're the same parent company. So, kind of was suspecting more for from uh, green light. Put my truck back up there, but it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I'll do another video tomorrow. That will be 
Odds and Ends number 49. This has been Show and Tell. I mean, dang. I said this was an end. It's actually bumped behind. Forget what I said. Uh, this is Odds and Ends number 48. Uh, uh, these are vehicles that were in Show and Tell number 26. Tomorrow, I will be doing a video for Show and Tell number 128. Whew. With that said, man, uh, I want to thank the subscribers for your uh, support. Random viewers, this is not the best diecast channel. It's not the worst either. Model here, show a little love for the diecast. I encourage you to hit the subscription button, hit the notification button, so you have access to all the content. Until the next time, peace and blessings.